I worked uh, on the breadboard from the beginning, which is research and development. And then uh, I went with Chrysler Corporation and we did fabrication. And then we took the cables and equipment out to launch pad 30.37 and installed them. And that's what the uh, what I did then, which was it's called avionics. The uh, program that we were on at that time uh, was uh, mock simulation, and we went through uh, about a third of the launch procedure, and when we removed external power and turned it into internal power, the uh, uh, spacecraft was pressurized with oxygen. And whenever that spark, there was a spark underneath the commander's seat where the wire harness had broke and it just went up like, like so many hundred degrees. They uh, lasted uh, from 19 to 23 seconds. And the whole time you could hear them they were trying to get out. It wouldn't have helped any at all because it took 90 seconds to get the door off until they re redesigned the door. But um, Gus Grissom and, and uh, Ed White and uh, Roger, Roger was the last one uh, that, uh, that was still talking. After the fire, we were set down and we had to make 23 records for different departments. And uh, it, was, it was very uh, nerve-wracking. It's just uh, one of them things. I, I never could get interested back in it. So I left uh, after that. And I went to work at Lockheed in, in uh, Lockheed and Marietta. Yes, well, what they were doing was praying. They, uh, you know, they was asking God, please help us. But there was nothing we could do. I mean, physically we couldn't we couldn't do anything. Because when you have that much oxygen at uh, 19 PSIG, it's just, well, if you ever seen anybody light a torch, when they put the spark onto the oxygen, it's bam, that's it. Fired so many and had so many good complete missions that they thought everything was fine. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't. So then they went back to procedure. Yeah. It was very, uh, I mean, they gave us a couple weeks off and one thing or another, but it was very heartbreaking. You go out there, that's all you could hear. After you hear that record 23 different times, it just didn't go away. So this day, on the 27th day of January, every year, I just kind of, you know, peel it. But, uh, it was a space race, that's what they call it, space race, but it was, um, it, it was frantic. There's many days that we would work from six in the morning till six at night, seven days a week. I mean, we were always working. 